Hi there, I'm Borno, your organic chemistry tutor, and today I'm going to explain what a miso compound is. Let's get started. Alright, so in this video I'm going to tell you guys what a miso compound is. In order for something to be miso, it needs to meet two criteria. It needs to be achiral and it needs to have stereocenters. In other words, a miso compound is an achiral compound that does have stereocenters. Let me show you an example. For instance, this compound. This compound has two stereocenters, but because of the fact that it has a plane of symmetry, it is achiral, and thus it's miso. Let me show an example of a compound that a lot of people would think that is miso, but it's not. Say for instance, this compound. Now this compound is a chiral because it does have a point of symmetry but it lacks stereocenters. These carbons are not stereocenters. Remember in order for something to be a stereocenter it needs to be an sp3 carbon connected to four different things. Now the purple highlighted carbons are connected to a hydrogen and a bromine but these two ring carbons or ring attachments are the same so CH2 CH2 here CH2 here CH2 here and then the same carbon point being the the highlighted carbons are not stereocenters and thus this doesn't qualify as a miso compound now how about say this compound this is a miso compound because it does have stereocenters and it's um, symmetrical and thus it's considered to be a miso compound now, you may notice that in order for something to qualify as miso, it needs to have more than one stereocenter. And in addition to that, the stereocenters need to have opposing um, absolute configuration. Now, in this particular case, this is R, this is S, and since R, when it, reflected, when it is reflected in the mirror, it's going to get converted to S. If you have opposing stereochemistries, that molecule is going to have a point of symmetry. Same thing with this this is R, this is S, and given the fact that R could be reflected in the mirror to be S, this molecule has an internal plane of symmetry. Let me give you another example. This compound. It is symmetrical, so it is a chiral. It also has stereocenters, and thus it's a miso compound, and the stereocenters are R and S, and thus, that qualifies as a miso compound. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out my website at yourochemtutor.com. See you in the next video, and take care.